So what you guys wanted in English, French, Dutch, Spanish, Italian, or the other one. I don't, I don't know how officially you call it. No, I'm waiting. No, I'm just kidding. We're doing it in English. On a mysterious space station orbiting high above the Earth. Cortex, you remind me why you... Remind me why I keep you around. You have failed me one too many times. Uga, uga, forgive me. I've been wasting all these years trying to vanquish that brainless bandicoot. He's no, of no importance to us. We want to take over the world. I've heard it all before, little scientist. What is so different this time? Trust me, Uga. I have a little plan to bring Earth's puny inhabitants down to size. Crash Bandicoot Excess. And that's what I'm gonna call it. From here on out because this is the copy I've got. Uh, it's otherwise known as the Huge Adventure. I think Excess is the European release, and Huge Adventure is the American release, which I don't know why there's a difference. I mean, they're both in English or whatever language you want them in. So, anyway. Let's see the credits, because we already beat the game. No, I'm just kidding. What's the new game? At last, my planetary minimizer is complete. Earthlings will bow to my superior intellect. <laughs> Finally, after all these years of abuse, the tables have turned. Who's the little guy now? I, Neocortex, am your ruler. You will look up to me. <laughs> I have finally won. Now nothing can stop me. Not even that little bandicoot. Crash, Coco, the world needs your help. Cortex has shrunk our planet to the size of a grapefruit. You... I mean, we must stop him. Because, um, I'm going to help quite a lot. Looks like as if... Cor it looks as if Cortex is using the crystals to power his shrinking machine. Crash, if you can find the other uh, proper crystals from around the world, I think I can build a device to reverse the effects. What have I got? Good luck, Crash. You must find the crystals so we can put an end to Cortex's evil scheme. Alright guys, so I don't know if you caught it, but Cortex shrank the Earth down to the palm of his hand, so he has an ego complex, and he's a bad guy, and yeah. Crash is looking like, what? Why Why you keep me waiting? Alright, so let's start this thing out with the actual gameplay. Now, Crash Bandicoot. I practiced this a little bit earlier. Like, I need it, man. No, I'm not gonna jinx myself, but I'm not too bad at the game. I do have my flaws sometimes. I'm a little impatient. That's for most platformers. That's basically all platformers for me. Impatience is mostly going to be my downfall if I die at all in this game. Or in any other platformer I play. Which will probably be DKC2 and onwards. By the way, uh, the order of which I'm going to play these games is Crash Bandicoot XS, Spyro Season of Ice, then Donkey Kong Country 2. 2. And then we'll have uh, something else to determine well, what the heck am I going to play after I'm done with those three games? I'll probably have an audience pick sort of thing. So that's my plans. Them's my plans. Peace. So, just in case. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Some ultimate parkour. What have got? It's a Woodabaga. We got ourselves a Woodabaga. It can take can take an extra hit for us. His name is Aku Aku. He can take an extra hit for you. If you get two of them, he'll turn golden. Like freaking awesomeness. However, if you get three of them, you'll be invincible for a short amount of time. To minor things. 
but ooh, these levels are fun. Eh, they're hard to control sometimes too. You gotta be smarter than the game sometimes. But other than that, these levels are pretty fun because they're like no limitation to where you can be at and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you like my choice. I mean, I've really wanted to play this game for quite a while on my channel. Not quite a while, but I got right back into Crash Bandicoot after Super Genius started playing, honestly. And it's just been like, yay, what have I been not, what have I not been doing playing these games? And I spent some time getting a heck of a lot better at them. So, that's a thing. Anyway, onwards to swimming and stuff, life. Okay, so anyway, you're in search of power crystals, and get all the tall 20, and you can fight Neo Cortex and stop his diabolical plans. And that's basically the reason you put, you're playing this game, is just to stop Cortex from being such an egotistical jerk. Ah, uh, good. I thought I was going to go right to that mine. That wouldn't have been fun. But what are these silver-like gym things that you're picking up, Micah? Or Sniper, whatever you want to call me. I don't really care. But anyway, what are these silvery gym things that you're picking up? Oh, well, they're just gems in us essence of the name. They, they simply provide a secondary means of extra collection. Or a, a means of extra collection. Excuse me, I failed hardly. Very, very badly. But anyway, gems provide a means of secondary collection, which raises your percentile. I'll try to get as much as I can, possibly can. My goal for this LP is to 100% it. I would really like that. Because I don't think... I, I haven't. Ever. I think I've only beat it once, and that was... <laughs> when I was uh, playing through it over the, like last month. I didn't get all the stuff done. But there are extra, extra things you have to get too. They're called relics. And you basically have to speedrun a level. If you want to get the keys. Crap, I think I just screwed myself. Yeah, I did. Find the nearest cliff, cliff and jump off. Ah, oh, it's not anywhere near. Okay, well fine. I, I screwed myself over on that one. But there's it's no big deal. We got a cliff here. So, yeah. But anyway, when you die in a bonus zone, don't worry about a life being reduced from your count. It simply just takes you right back outside so you can try it again. Which is basically just, yeah, you didn't do so well, but, you know, here's a slap on the wrist. So, yeah. Oh, I almost did it again. But I didn't this time, because you reminded me. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's a bonus zone! I love these things. Uh, so what Crash games have all you guys played? I've played 1, 2, XS, Entranced, which is the second Game Boy installment of Crash Bandicoot that's like two-dimensional and stuff. And Wrath of Cortex. I think I played a little bit of Warped and Crash Bash, but that's about it. Oh, that and Twin Sanity and Crash Tag Team Racing. I like Twin Sanity. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice little plot, and it's it's different from your normal warp zones to levels and stuff. You don't warp to your levels. You just basically smoothly transist between levels, and it's very unique and very thought well not thought provoking. I don't know why I was gonna say that. It's kind of like I'm just spewing words out of my mouth right now. It's Probably the best thing around. Uh, so, see, we got ourselves a golden wood we got. Which is pretty freaking cool. Don't worry about going down here yet. 
because you can't go to the end and do the bonus because you don't have a uh, red gem which you get at the end. But anyway, here's an example of collecting three in a row of Mr. Aku Aku here. He will let you be invincible for a short amount of time, but you can't, like, you know, be all like, screw life and jump into lava and expect to live because, you know, you'll, it's not that easy. It doesn't protect you from lava because lava is a jerk. It wasn't in his insurance policy, so he just didn't give it to you. So anything else, I mean, spikes, you're good. No, I'm just kidding. You can't fall on anything or die falling or anything. Because that's a big nom nom. You cannot do that. Not with Invincible Aku Aku. But you may have noticed, hey, why didn't you get the second one? Well, that's because... That one area I told you you couldn't go through yet? Well, you can go to it, but you can't get through it yet because... Simply, you don't have the right gym. So, there. Sucker. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is the first level that introduces Nitro Crates. What are Nitro Crates? They knock you out if you touch them. So there you go. There's your example. And those, like, lined boxes that I was bouncing between. You may have noticed, like, they're like the Mario bouncing thing. You get as much out of it as you possibly can. And then it breaks. But, anyway, you're being chased by a Yeti. What are you gonna do? Well, you're just gonna chill. Because he'll never catch you. I think. Well, if you don't feel safe, you can just press B to boost. Yeah, I think it was about to get me there. Uh, oopsie. That didn't mean to happen. You didn't see that. That was forbidden. Forbidden Jutsu. Okay, checkpoint. Alright, I like checkpoints. Checkpoints are my friends. You can have him break everything around. If you mix, miss some boxes on this, don't worry about it. He'll break them. Like, if you run into him, like I'm doing terribly at right now. And Jesus, penguins quit wasting my Woodabaga. Gosh, Super Genius has got me calling it Woodabaga now. When his name is Aku Aku, but... I was gonna try to think of a unique name for him. For this, uh, series. Cause it's like, he's your friend that basically does nothing but protect you. And he has to have a name. He just has to. Mr. Wooden Tiki Face. No, that's just too obvious. Mr. Feathers. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Feathers. We'll call him Mr. Feathers. He's gonna like his new name. I guarantee it. It's like, you'll like the way you look. I guarantee it. What, what, what commercial is that off of? Because I forgot. You guys are going to have to help me out here. Seriously. What the heck? What commercial is it off of? Fine. You know what? Fine. 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 Three. Four. Five. Okay. So, in case you're wondering how many it can maximally take is five. On one and two, Crash Bandicoot one and two, I think they can take ten. Each. I got one more. Ooh, there we go. Now I've got that. Yeah, so those lined boxes that I can hit five times. I think you can hit them ten times on Crash 1 and 2. But that's that. 2, 3, 4, 5. Anyway, I love these sewer levels. I love them more in the 2D Crash instead of the 3D. Because in the 3D Crash, it was more like more ways to go and you could get lost so easily if you didn't know what you were doing watch watch this i'm gonna love that it's like maximum overload of these apple things you want to know what these apple things are they're not that that's that's not a good thing that's not what i was supposed to do you saw that box in there right 
I was supposed to get that. Whoopsie. This starts getting terrible. I will cut till the end. I'm kind of hoping I can cut, so I have this line. I have this line ready in case I have to cut. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Well, not really exactly funny, but jump, 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 crash, jump. See, if you wait a little bit longer, I think it won't break on its own unless you bounce on it four times. Those line boxes. It it gets a little sketchy sometimes, you know. But I usually just do like this, and it's it's TNT Bill Walk Run. It's time to run. Okay, mm, that went better than expected. Better than practice. Yeah, that was horrifying in practice. But anyway, more line boxes. More of the things that confuse you all around. Confuse you all around. So, yeah, more of this. Okay, I need to get my buttons straight, I suppose. Sometimes I confuse rate them. Nope, I'm not going as fast as I could. Oh no. Let's not do that, please. I'd rather not. Whew! Close. Oh yeah, and these like, uh, quick change boxes things. Yeah, I, I learned this in practice that if you wait too long, they'll turn into steel boxes that you can't break. So, yeah. Don't let them hang for too long. It's in your best interest to 100% every level. And face plant. Check. I get another Wurubaga. Or Mr. Feathers. I get another Mr. Feathers. Yeah, I need to learn how to call him Mr. Feathers. Golden. You're very golden, Mr. Feathers. I like your sheen today. Most of the time, you're not even helping me. I mean, it's like, what the crap? Well, that's probably because I suck at the game, but... I think that was it. As for boxes that I have to... Yeah. You'll have to come back and get those two boxes. But that's it. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I know you will. You are my friends. Ah, so I graduated recently. Um, uh, I think I'll miss high school. I think I will. Oops. Yeah, don't let that crate sit too long. Ugh. Now I, I'm really looking forward to summer. I really am. It's gonna be great. All my friends, I get to hang out with them, and it's gonna be great. And yeah, and I get to hang out with you guys on the internet, maybe, if you want. You know, I, I mean, I understand you guys got bigger fish to fry than to play games. Stuff. I mean, it's like, yeah, I don't even know where I'm going with that either. No wonder nobody really likes my videos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's some that like, I think. But anyway, it's time for a boss. Dingo Dial. And this guy is very slow. Very slow. Well, he's not too terribly slow. But this is where my impatience will probably get the best of me. Or I'll lose multiple lives because stupid sharks. There. Anyway, Mr. Feathers, are you ready for the most epic boss fight in the world? Against this dingo crocodile? That's that's what he's supposed to be, I guess. Dingo crocodile. He's a mutant, another mutant that Cortex has made, that works for Cortex, obviously, otherwise he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be opposing me, he would be on my side, well, maybe not, maybe he'd be neutral, 
because you can't be, you don't have to be good or bad, you can just be neutral, you can just be apathetic. Apathy isn't always the best solution though. As, as sometimes it can be very hazardous to the well-being of a person. I don't even know. What am I pulling deep philosophical quotes out my butt? Well, not anymore. Out my bucket butt is probably not the most philosophical thing in the world. Super body slam. Push R in midair to super body slam. This destroys crates and nearby enemies. Press start to continue. Meddling marsupial, you got lucky this time. My henchman won't be so easy in the next on in the future next time so next time on crash xs we'll be going through world 2 hopefully hopefully this is probably where it's gonna screw up a little bit because we get new levels and more of levels i don't like like ice levels but anyway thank you all so very much for watching and i really hope you're gonna have a great day see you later guys